Stuart Fairchild stands in, and the count, one to know as that one misses up and away. Jan Carsey gets the single, though, but out trying to stretch it into a double. Well, the 1-0 to Fairchild again misses inside, 2-0. And, oh. and by the way, there is an update on that home run ball of Stewart's. The bullpen still has possession of it. He has not met the demands. 2-0 pitch. Slider misses low and inside, and it's 3-0 to Stewart. <coughs> he walked in his last at bat. That came in the fourth. Then he stole a base, got to second, eventually got to third base on a passed ball, but was left there to end the inning. 3-0 pitch, up and away, ball four. Stuart Fairchild works the walk, and instead of a couple Redbirds on base with nobody out, Fairchild alone on the base paths with one out. <coughs> so Stuart, he has a multi-walk game. And now in steps Matt Caples. A move to first base. And Fairchild dives back in safe. Well, Fairchild now has five walks on the season. Three in his past two games is his first multi-walk game of the year. First pitch to Caples right there for a called strike, 0-1. Out of the stretch here, Jamarcus George comes set, stares down, Stuart Fairchild at first, now delivers, and this time Stevenson has to go down to his knees and block it. The change up there, the count evens at one and one. <coughs> Matt Cables yesterday had those two three baggers, scored a run, drove in a run in that two run second inning that gave the Redbirds an early lead. Fairchild's running. The pitch, though, fouled back through the legs of Stevenson and to the backstop. So Fairchild back to first, and the count is one and two. But yesterday, Mack saw his batting average rise to 300 for the first time since June 14th. And yesterday, in that game, got his third multi-hit game of the season. One-two pitch. Big breaking ball. That one nearly hit the strike zone. Just missed, and the count's even at two and two. Middle infield, double play depth. Smith holding on fair child at first base. Redbirds now lead six to four in the bottom of the sixth. A move to first. Second one of this at bat, and again, Fairchild dives back in safely. Two-two pitch. Cables watches it go by for a ball. Three and two count. Well, now Cables, he's trying to walk. Jamarcus George has already walked one. Fairchild has to our first base. There he goes again. Cables lines it in the left field. This one's a base hit. Cables is on for the second time tonight. And once again, he gets a hit. Third in two days. And now the Redbirds have a couple men aboard. on now for the DH Ben Brazil <coughs> lefty lefty matchup here the first pitch way outside 1 and 0 Cables now a short two game hit streak and three hits in his last two games well he reaches for that one and can't make contact <coughs> the count goes to 1 and 1 Fairchild at second. Matt Cables at first. 
The 1-1 one, one to Brazil. Grounded left side. <coughs> Could be two. Only going to be one. The only place to second base from Mendoza, the shortstop, to Porter, the second baseman. And Matt Cables is out number two. But the Redbirds, they will have runners on the corners with two outs for Gavin Sheets. So Ben Brazil has reached base four times tonight now. A couple of walks, a couple of runs scored, an RBI, a single, a stolen base, now reached on the fielder's choice. Well, the first pitch to Gavin, another breaking ball here, but it misses low and outside, and the count is 1-0. Fairchild at third. Brazil at first. A couple of Wake Forest guys on the bases, and a Wake Forest guy at the plate in Gavin Sheets. 1-0. Big breaking ball there, but it misses low, 2-0. and oh. Get rid of those germs. <coughs> Gavin, a single and a run scored in his last plate appearance. On the night, one for two with a strikeout. 2-0 pitch. Outside, no! A late strike call. It hits the outside corner and the count's 2-1. and one. 6-4 Redbirds in the bottom of the sixth inning. A little over two hours into this ballgame. Now a move to first, but not the strongest throw in the world from Jamarcus George. And Ben Brazil back on his feet. Pitch to Gavin. Very early on that breaking ball. And the count goes to two and two. Gavin saw his batting average head north 22 points yesterday with that multi-hit game of his. Runners are coming home. Ooh. Here comes Fairchild Ooh, Johnny, to throw bro. home. He is out. Johnny, block the plate. Larry Sheets trying to pull some trickery on the Dodgers. <laughs> but it doesn't fool him. Okay. Fairchild. Out by a mile at the plate. And Ben Brazil left oh, stranded on the base paths. Gavin Sheets will lead off the seventh. Well, we head to the seventh now. He, he and the Redbirds are on top of the Dodgers. Six to four. By left and right. Here on the Redbirds <laughs> baseball network. Well, here he stopped the white boy. See, you can hear the racism. That's what you're hearing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, man, he can't catch nothing. <laughs> But then you stop one of your good white boys at the plate. Got nothing to say. Mm -hmm. See how that works? Very competitive. They trying to get their boys to the good ones. If he had given the guy too much kudo, he'd be announcing somewhere else. <laughs> We thought that maybe since the Redbirds are one of the top teams, that maybe you could. Uh, work. Top of the seventh inning. This year for the Rebels of Ole Miss. He's from <laughs> South Haven, Mississippi. And his dad, in fact, played in the major leagues for the Cincinnati Reds. Now, first pitch from Ray to Mendoza, a fastball up and in. Mendoza leads out of the Johnny way to up. avoid being hit, and the count is 1-0. and oh. Mendoza tonight, 1-3 for three at the plate. And that one again misses 2-0. Oh. Come on, fun. Ray out of the windup here. This is the <coughs> first strike of the season. <coughs> and we'll wait another pitch as that one misses low and outside 3-0. and oh. Well... Redbirds pitchers, specifically the bullpen, has been struggling here at home as of late. As the 3-0 is in there for a called strike, Mendoza was taking all the way. In the last nine and a third innings pitched, the last two home games, the 3-1 misses low, ball four. A five-pitch walk lead off the seventh for John Ray to Evan Mendoza.